I finished a movie with a director that the producer of Batman Returns was the producer. The director brings a whole experience to it. It's all referrals. And uh, so I went in to talk to him and you know, he, he, he hired me. He liked me and hired me. A lot of directors get very lost in the detail. They're overworking the, the minutia of the movie, which sometimes can put the big picture at risk. I just start with what I think is the best way to go and best performance and knowing I'll even just grab one and get a pattern for the editing of a scene that I think is good and then go back and work on maybe the performances and then be wandering through the material again and find something that I like and have to wedge that in. Every scene is different, every movie is different, so there's not really a set way of approaching it. What I've found is my first instincts are usually the best, I think in life that's true. In my experience with Tony Scott, I think we've done nine movies together, from Top Gun to Crimson Tide. You want to get the director's vision realized. You have to make a movie that works artistically satisfying and works on different levels. You know, an artistic one that you're happy with. Make clear sense of all the film that I get and tell the right story. And on a commercial level, the studio's money is at stake. There's all those things to consider, but I just try and put myself in the place of a viewer, of an audience member. Be clear in my storytelling. It's people paying for a ticket, going in and sitting in a dark room and having an experience outside of themselves. That's the important thing.